Hi Cub fans, this is Randy Wehofer with a look back at a winning season of Iowa Cubs baseball. This year, the club finished 74 and 70, tied for second place in our division and just two and a half games out of a playoff spot. It was our first winning record since 2010 and a great development year as 19 players came through Des Moines to join the big league club this year. The story of the season has to begin with the starting rotation. The team set a franchise record with 79 quality starts and finished second in the league with a 3.88 ERA, the club's best mark since joining the Pacific Coast League in 1998. Kyle Hendricks and Suyoshi Wada were named All-Stars at midseason. Dallas Beeler finished third and Eric Jokish finished fifth in the league in the individual ERA race. Chris Russin pitched a no-hitter in May and Dan Straley and Dae Un Ri were contributors late in the year. The bullpen was strong too with closer Blake Parker leading the league in saves and being named to the All-PCL team. Iowa manager Marty Peavy credits the work of pitching coach Bruce Walton and the players for working together to get such good results. You know, I tip my hat to all those guys. I really tip my hat to Bruce and uh, um, Pap did a great job with, uh, with uh, the staff. There were a lot of high expectations, especially from Hendricks. And uh, coming out of spring training, he knew he had his work cut out for him. You know, we're playing the PCL. A lot of these guys, it's their first year. What Pat did really from the day one was he gave them structure. And once they had structure, found out what it was all about, what his program was all about, he really, it really uh, started to come together. Offensively, Eris Mendiel Contra, Javi Baez, Chris Bryant, and Jorge Soler all showed flashes of brilliance that earned them status as some of the top prospects in minor league baseball. Alcantara was also named to the all PCL team. In addition to star power, Every winning team gets contributions from their whole roster, and early in the year, Chris Valeka was the steadying influence that helped the young players make adjustments. Number one, he protected the prospects, or protected Baez in particular at the time. Um, later, it was on the back half of Bryant. But more than that, he just is consistent. He's consistent, had consistent at bats, a consistent approach, and was a hard worker and a really good role model for the young guys. After a few players started getting called up to Chicago, the team needed someone else to step up, and Matt Caesar did just that. Caesar hit 282 over his final 46 games and finished with a team high 30 stolen bases while playing gold glove caliber defense and leading the league in assists from the outfield. The stats are good, but only tell part of the story of what Caesar brings to the team. He has great intangibles. His presence in the clubhouse, the way he carries himself on and off the field, uh, when he's in the lineup and, and things special happen, not only uh, the things special around him, but it happened to the team too. He is a great, great teammate and um, is our best outfielder. Players often refer to the grind of a baseball season and the ability to finish strong is a key part of development. Catcher Rafael Lopez came up from double A at midseason and got up to speed quickly with the pitching staff on defense and also learned a lot about himself as a player to lead the team in hitting for the month of August. I believe it's the end of my third month in AAA, so uh, starting to learn the league a little bit, learn the travel, learn how people are trying to get you out and whatnot, and just making adjustments off of that, and um, also just figuring out what my strengths are and um, learning what my weaknesses are too, so I can stay away from certain pitches that um, I'm weak at and, and attack the pitches that I'm strong at. And um, you know, just taking what they've been giving me too, um, that, that always helps. Uh, sometimes I try and be too aggressive or maybe too passive and finding that happy medium has really helped me throughout August. The vision for the future of the Chicago Cubs is coming into focus in the minor league system. This year was full of great moments and we're already looking forward to more good young players coming through Des Moines in 2015. For the leadoff man, I'm Randy Wehofer.